I completely feel like Alanis Morissette and her thank you video circa 1998, nine-ish. My hair is the only thing covering me right now. Yes, this video is about nudity and naked beaches. Get into it, people. Jesus H. Macy, you do not realize how much hair you have on top of your head until it is wet and falling in your face and you can't even begin to even you white girls at Starbucks. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, so I wanted to do a video on nudism and naked beaches and nudity and being comfortable in your skin, people. Let's talk about it. Let's discuss because there's nothing to be afraid of, okay? Uh, my boyfriend and I got into the nude scene back when we lived in Minnesota, actually. So it's been a handful of years already. And you are not alone if you're thinking, first of all, that it's crazy, nutty, and only hippies do it. But then also to be like, oh, cool for you, have a secret desire on the inside. But then be like, oh, it's not for me, or ooh, not my cup of tea, because you have so many self-confidence issues. You're afraid of, you know, your body, your image, don't want to ruin reputations, blah, blah, hurt it all. Um, but there is something far deeper that happens when you go to a naked beach or a naked event with other people, basically if you're in public naked. And what I'm coming to find through talking to people and just my own experiences is that, uh, first of all, it makes you hate clothing. Like, you really do. You start to realize, oh, Jesus, I feel like such a girl. Hey! Uh, it makes you realize that clothing is just, um, a way to label and to make people feel separate. Or different. And I had one of my friends, I won't call you out because I still don't know if my friends are okay with that, but he visited me and my boyfriend here in Portland last year. And I say this to anybody who's going to visit. I don't care if you're my family, my friends, or a complete stranger. If you come out here and it's a nice month weather-wise, you're either going to play craps alone, hanging out at your hotel room, or you're going to come with me to a naked beach. Like, there's no way around it. Um, I don't care who you are. And my boyfriend and I have been in arguments over that too, thinking it's inappropriate for certain people, but I don't think it's inappropriate to convince anybody you love to love themselves. Like, for real, it's a bigger thing to me than, like, seeing titties and wieners, like, all over the place. Because, honestly, it's not about that. But also, let's get to that in a second, okay? Remind me with your powers of consciousness. Um, for real, what it is about is building up uh, your, your self-identity. It's really taking um, your idea of who you are as a person back. When I took this friend who visited us last year to the naked beach, he's a bigger guy. And lots of self-confidence issues, low self-esteem, stuff like that. Not only from physical appearance, but also, you know, just life in general, as he said. Uh, but we, I convinced him to go. And he had gone with us previously to a naked pool party, which was harder to convince, but when he went to that, enjoyed himself, came to this, we had a blast, great time, and I honestly do think it contributed to, to him getting to a way better place in his life, where now he's down, like, a hundred pounds. Like, man went ham on his body, just after, you know, getting a little boost of confidence, and also having some trials and tribulations along the way with other people involved and stuff like that. But I'm telling you, like, it really affects your psyche. A, a big problem for him was when we'd go to stores, like H&M, he couldn't even buy anything. Or we'd go to a store and he'd have to get, like, a double or a triple XL. What that does to you on the inside, it's, it breaks you down. Like, you start to realize you're just this outsider in society and you're, you have all these problems with your health and your mental well-being and focus and drive. And, you know, it's all affected. But then we just tell people, well, stop eating, you know? But... Honestly, it has a huge amount to do with diet, but also there's psychological shit going on with people, and that's never discussed, you know? But I'm telling you, the moment you pull yourself um, away from common reality, what's decent, what's normal, and try doing something completely out there, like going to a naked beach, going on a naked hike, there's resorts, there's spas, um, many retreats, especially for the LGBT community. Um, but straight people alike, you probably have fucking more than we do, so stop it. Uh, it's one good thing about being gay, though, is when you're there, everybody who's there is, like, you know what I mean? Like, all men, it's just, it's so fun. Like, straight men get a little screwed, because if you want that eye candy, but, God, for us gays, I'm telling you, more straight men, the better. Um, but then again, I also don't believe in straight men. I, we're all on a scale. It's, a, it's fluid. You can call yourself straight. You can think you're the biggest pussy hound in the game. Yay! 
you ain't. You crave the dick every once in a while. And that's okay. I like pussy too. I think it's fun. It's pretty to look at. This is getting a little overly sexual, not what this video was about. However, that's kind of a point I also wanted to make. Let's not shame sexuality and sex drive, and let's not make each other feel bad for our body parts. Like, all of this shame, I'm part of a lot of naked groups. I've been a part of Omen, which is um, Oregon men enjoying nature, I think. I don't know. It's really stupid. Don't join it. It's um, older men, which I love. Older, stocky men. Thank you very much. Not being ageist. It's older men who only get together to have a buffet and then fuck. That's literally all it is. From your mouth to God's ears, I'm telling you. This is, I just want to let you guys know what happens at these things in case you decide to go. Omen, pretty shitty. We went and uh, guys lined up like pigs at a trough, ate, and then we're like, okay, let's fuck. And we'd go down to a playroom. I, not for me, girls. It was not for me. But with that being said, it is the cup of tea for some. So check it out if you so desire. But just so you know, that's what you're getting with that. Now, with Naked Minnesota, that group was thebomb.com. You would do naked pool parties, there were gatherings, there were hikes, there were bowling parties, movie events. It was so much different stuff. You got to meet people. It was not all about sex. Not all of these groups are. So, if you're going into this purely for the idea that being naked around others would be fun, check it out. Look into the groups. There are going to be some that that's all they want, you know? But then don't shame the others who are about it to play and to meet people with similar interests. I'm so tired of on these nudist websites I belong to, um, like True Nudist, that's one of the biggest. They make it so you're supposed to be ashamed of getting boned. Like, you can't have any pictures where your dick is semi-erect. You're supposed to feel shamed on naked beaches if you get a boner, like you're supposed to cover it. There's a huge agenda out there to, like, shame men into being physically aroused and it's like i'm fucking sorry uh the human body's beautiful and sometimes it tickles my dick like for real we have a huge problem going on right now i have a problem with authority figures those patrol people who hang out like scoping beaches you're the reason shit's bad in this world like for real who takes that job like who is out there to patrol and to monitor and to tell people what being naked is okay and how it's okay? like i'm sorry i have such a problem with, like, parents who always think their kids need protection from the world. It's like, well, then don't take your kids to a fucking nude beach. There's parents complaining that, you know, it's not children-friendly. Well, it's like, who the fuck are you? Like, weird. You're bringing your kids to a naked beach and you're pissed that people, like, want to fuck. But fucking while naked makes more sense than having a child at a naked beach, in my opinion. Like, I just have a problem with the way people think. I have a problem with People wanting everybody else to make them comfortable with everything. I could give a shit if you're not comfortable. Come with me and experience something. Take with you what you will. Like, that's, I don't give a fuck. If you come and you're uncomfortable, that's you, boo. It's not my problem. Like, why should I have to care? Anyway, this isn't a rant video. I just wanted to inform people. This stuff happens, though. You're going to run into people who go on to naked beaches fully clothed and take photos. It's, like, fucking creepy. We're running into a lot of, like, drones and low-flying airplanes, like, also fucking creepy. Um, but there is a genuine appreciation amongst nudists who are just like on the beach having fun. I am telling you, you will never feel closer to strangers than when you're naked. Like for real, it's impressive. We also had my boyfriend's best friend fly here from Minnesota last year. And she's a girl. And when I was like, well, I'm peacing out and going to the nude beach because it's 90 and sunny. And my boyfriend was like, well, I'm going too. So she was like, well, you can't leave me. And we talked her into going and she was really hesitant. But she got there. There are a lot of girls who go to naked beaches. It's not weird, ladies. Like, participate. It's super fun. I mean, many girls do only go topless. I don't get it. If I was a girl, I'd be full bushing it. Like, full bush in the bush. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know why people are so ashamed of genitalia and their bodies and we've been raised in a culture to like fear it and to think questions are bad and to think arousal is bad it's just it's really sad um and we need to be able to have conversations about nudity and what better to start that than have a naked video on youtube i would show you my butt if i could without thinking this video is going to get suspended uh but i don't want to risk it but in future videos i absolutely will nothing to be ashamed about you can criticize me all you want. I don't care what you say about any part of this. But let me tell you, it's super happy being more free, liberated from clothing, 
and living in a place where not only are the summers amazing weather-wise, but it's also a climate that allows nudity, the naked bike ride just took place here in Portland. Um, they also have a dance called the Dance Off Pants Off. It takes place once a month. Nudity is rampant in Portland. It's really fun. If you ever want to experience like a really good community of nudists, there's naked hiking, naked bowling. We go to the coast naked. There's bars here, gay bars here. But you can go and there's pool nights where you play pool and get pictures of beer and you can be naked. Like for me, that's heaven because I also live in a state that legalized weed. So I get to go on a beach naked, see dicks all in front of me. Hi. Like, I'm sorry. Did I step into heaven? I mean, honestly, this video, just a message to challenge what makes you feel comfortable. I understand if you have body dysmorphia issues. I did. My boyfriend did. But I'm telling you, they're being created by clothing and society and everybody's projections of how you should feel about your body onto you. It's not your thoughts. It's not your thoughts of your body. Stand in front of a mirror naked. Get comfortable with yourself. I mean, seriously, more people need to be aware. Like, this, this idea of perfection, these Beyonce's and these Kim Kardashians, it's fake. They can't even attain it. And it's like, why do we chase something where you're starting to look more and more like a caricature of a human being? It's like, wait, we want big titties and big asses on these women. Now the gays are getting the big asses. It's like, why aren't we just comfortable, like... It's so weird. And then all these people changing their bodies but not even comfortable to be naked in public. It's like, well, that made absolutely no sense because you're already showing that you're not comfortable with your body. So why are we supposed to buy into the fact that you getting bigger tits makes you comfortable? Like that's, no, you have shit to work on in your head. Uh, but for real, another thing, when you get into the nude scene, you're going to run into lots of types of personalities. You're going to run into people who really want to meet everybody and engage and be friends, and then you're going to have secluded people. I'm telling you, when you're at a new beach, when you're at a new event, everybody will socialize. It's very rare that people will not talk to you. That's another cool thing. It really brings a social aspect to a gathering or an outing. Like, it's really fun. But with all that being said, it really does just go back to focusing on you being comfortable with yourself and not projecting your insecurities onto others. Don't judge everybody so damn quickly. You'll be surprised how the human body doesn't grotesque you or uh, make you feel uncomfortable as much as you thought it would. Like, there is a difference between maybe if seeing an obese person in a muumuu at McDonald's versus seeing an obese person on a naked beach, you're, something's different in your psyche about it, and you see a vulnerability in it, and you connect, you empathize, it's, it's really unique. And that's honestly the experience I wanted to share with everybody in this video. Um, I hope I brought some topics to your attention that maybe you hadn't thought of. It is a really cool experience. Um, everybody starts off differently. I'm telling you, we all run into the same problems. You're gonna feel nervous taking off your clothes the first time. Just do it. It's like jumping in the water. Do it fast, get it over with. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in comments below. If you yourself are a nudist or have enjoyed being nude places, maybe you went over to Europe where it's a lot more prominent, um, leave in comments below. I'm super curious to hear people's um, ideas or their stories that they've had or are curious about whatever have you. Um, I'm telling you, all questions, welcome. Don't be a dick. Like, people like being naked, you do too. So save it with your comments. I get I'm a faggot, I get, you know, blah, 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 blah. Okay? Um, take it back to your bedroom. Uh, anyway, I hope you have a really good day. I want to get outside naked. Well, okay, I can't be naked downtown yet, working on it. And let me please remind people that none of this information, even the negative sounding stuff, is to deter you from wanting to experience this. It's just to give you a cautionary warning, just like when I'm at this beach. Um, people always come up to me and are like, ooh, you look a little burnt. Do you need some suntan lotion? And then... I don't use suntan lotion or sunscreen. I don't like sunblock. None of it. It's super chemical. Like, that's all it is. It's chemicals to, like, put a shield of fucking metal over your skin. If people started looking into more stuff like that, I always talk about how coconut oil actually named, contains a natural SPF, enough for your skin to protect itself, and it also just takes common sense. When your skin starts to feel warm, flip over, go into the water, cool down, get shade. 
Like, don't be dumb. Don't sit in the sun for six hours. Because when you burn, that's, you know, what's happening to your cells with plasma rays from the sun that's cooking it. Uh, so get out of the sun, for crying out loud. But people need to be aware that things like skin cancer are going up because of sunblock usage, not because of the sun. Nothing about the sun has changed over the last however many millennia you want to go back, or whatever you believe, because we'll talk about the sun later. But honestly, it's not the sun. It's the chemicals we're dousing our bodies in. And, you know, not just sunscreens, but sunscreens are a huge part of it. And, you know, I, I'm not sure what legally in America you're supposed to say. Like, this is alleged. I don't know, fucking allegedly, but it's real. Look at, look into it, investigate it, don't take my word. But for me, I decide not to use sunblock because I know that it's causing skin cancer and I choose to take my risk in the sun. Like a normal sane person who would have done the exact same thing 30, 40 years ago, so thanks. Uh, but just stuff like that, like it's cautionary warnings. I just want to let people know when you venture into a nudist area, be okay with knowing that there are some people who look at it a different way. Some people are going to go and play. Some people are going to sit in a corner just by themselves because all it's about for them is nature. You're going to run into everybody, be cool, be you, and just back off from people. Like, seriously. And uh, I also wanted to point out, Azalea Banks has this really cool song with Ariel Pink, um, and it's called Nude Beach of go -Go. And it's honestly my biggest aunt that I love listening to it on my way out to the naked beach or just, like, Knowing that other kids my age enjoy doing this shit, it's so cool. Like, honestly, get to a naked beach already. And everybody get naked! Make it hot. Uh, okay, listen to Tommy Lee if we need a 90s throwback. Anyway, I'm gonna cut out this video right now. Uh, take care of yourself today, love your bodies, and explore what you can do naked in your community. Alright, peace out today. Talk to you later. Peace.